Hey guys. So today is a very special day because not only is it the first video that I'm filming in this new space with the relaunch of my YouTube channel, it is also a day we get to talk about a piece of gear that I've had my eyes on for a really long time now. And that is the Tilta Basic Ring Grip Plus. I've had a gimbal probably for three years now, and I think I've used it a handful of times because if any of you know who have a gimbal, it is such a pain in the butt getting it set up, tearing it down, going back to handheld, putting it back on there. It's almost like you need a dedicated gimbal camera. And not only is it just a pain in the butt to use, it's also ergonomically weird, you know? Like this is the DJI RS2. And this, when you're using a gimbal, you're usually holding it with one hand and all the weight is in the middle. And that is really taxing on your body after a long day, especially if you're shooting with, like I shoot with a Canon C70, um, all rigged out, it gets pretty heavy. Uh, so I recently invested in an easy rig and well, it's not actually an easy rig. It's by Flycam, but it's the same concept as an easy rig. Um, I got one of those uh, to help alleviate the pressure on my shoulders and my back throughout the day. And it's been absolutely amazing. Um, the only problem with that is if I want to use a gimbal, I can't use the easy rig at the same exact time, at least not with this current setup. So the ring grip is going to alleviate that problem. Now I should be able to attach my easy rig to the ring grip so that I could still have that stabilization that I want, but also have the alleviation of that shoulder pain and back pain from holding such a heavy rig all day. So today we are going to be unboxing this and we're going to give you my first impressions on it. I will later on do a full review on what I think about this. This is the basic ring grip plus. I believe this came out with Probably the beginning of 2023. Tilta has had the basic ring grip and they have had the advanced ring grip. And the advanced ring grip is super awesome, but it is also significantly more expensive than this model. And the basic ring grip is cheaper than this one, but you lose out on pretty much all functionality uh, when it comes to the gimbal. So normally on the gimbal, it'll have these little dial buttons here so you can stop and start recording, move the gimbal around, all of those great things. On the basic one, you lost out on that functionality on the side grips themselves. So you basically had to go for the advanced version and I really didn't wanna spend $800 on that. Um, and then they came out with this. Now this one has the control handle on the side um, allowing you to stop and start recording and move the gimbal around and to be able to recenter focus. So that is the main functionality that you're going to need. Now with the advanced ring grip, you do get the added ability to focus pull uh, and things like that. Um, currently, I do not need that. Um, right now, I mainly shoot autofocus and the C70's autofocus is great. I have an R6, the autofocus on that is great. So I'm pretty much relying on that, especially as a one man band. Uh, in the future, I may switch to that or just buy the additional uh, controller to be able to do that. But for now, this is going to be perfect. So without further ado, let's unbox this. Now, let's see. nicely packaged in there. So here is the handle, the control handle. It's pretty lightweight actually, um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, especially if you're trying to alleviate weight. Um, let's see, this is the other one. This goes to the other side. We've got, this must be the receiver for the controller. And here is part of the ring grip. Set that there. The 
this must be the other half and the little feet. You open these. Oh, there you go. There's like a little button uh, on here that you can lock and unlock that. Pretty nifty. It's also got these contact points so you can actually add on different little pieces that they offer. So you can add on like a V-mount battery and they have a couple other accessories on their website that you can add on to this and really kit it out if you want to customize it to your own uh, liking. So that is it for that. Put that over here and let's try to connect this bad boy together. So I believe the feet go in the front like this. And then you put the controller on whatever side you're dominant in. So I'm right-handed. So I'm going to screw this on to the right side here. And this is pretty straightforward. Let's put this left one on. Looks like it's universal, so you don't really have to worry about what side you're putting it on. So we'll do this. All right, perfect. And so this is going to go like this. It's pretty lightweight. Um, I like that. Now let's go ahead and attach, we'll set this to the side. Let's go ahead and attach this bad boy onto it. So we will unlock it from here. Make sure that's snug. All right, beautiful. And then you have to take the controller battery here and this goes right up top. Beautiful. And now that is the original handle for the RS2. And this is going to power the ring. And you can see right here, it is already on. Now we need to attach the this module here. This is the receiver for the remote that comes with it. It should just slide right on. Yep, right here on the side there. She's powering up. Look at that. Oh, there's no weight on here. She is not happy. Let's calibrate it. Look at that. Beautiful. Wow. Super easy to set up. You gotta give them that. They made it straightforward. I am currently using all of my cameras to film this, but I will do a follow-up and a full review on it. I'm actually going to be using this in Tennessee coming up here shortly for a wedding. And I look forward to testing it out. Um, I'll let you guys know my final thoughts. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks for sticking around. See you in the next one. Bye.